Hi, Assalamualaikum. How are you? I'm Uncle Asmi from Uncle Asmi Channel. I hope you are feeling fine. This time around, we are going to learn about Maker Uno. But first, let me recap on our lesson in our previous video. Last time, we have learned about how to configure our Maker Uno and works, make it works with Windows-based PC or notebook. And it works. We did that by downloading the USB driver. After that, we learned about how to download and block and configure it to work with Maker Uno. And it works too. How do we prove it works? We do a simple program. Do you still remember the simple program? We turn on and off 10 times the LED that is connected to I.O. digital port of Maker Uno. And it works nicely. This time around, we are going to be learning a bit further by identifying all the I.O. port in Maker Uno and controlling all the 12 LED and program it as we wanted. Okay, see you again. Okay, watch the video after this. Okay, before we start any coding, let us have a closer look at the Maker Uno board. Okay, over here we have this reset button. Okay, reset button is being used if you want to reset your board. There are situations where you want to redo your coding. Or for example, you want to restart again what you have done to your board. Or sometimes your board didn't respond in the middle of something. You can always press this reset button in order to restart your programs. Next, we are going to look at the digital pin. The one that interests us is the digital pin that I have colored in this orange square. Okay. It begins with digital pin number zero until digital pin number 13. We can use all of this pin to our knowledge and the one that you must make sure is that here the one that I've highlighted in green is all the LEDs. We have 13 LEDs. We have LED number 2, L2 until L13. Okay, the one that we must make sure is Digital pin 0 and 1 is not connected to any LED. So, in order for you to do the programming, please don't use digital pin 0 and 1 to light any LED because there is no LED that is connected to digital 0 and 1. You must start your LED at digital 2, which is connected to L2 or LED2. And it's, it is all the way to digital pin 13, where L13 is digital, where L13 is LED number 13. Before we learn our coding, let us learn about a few tips and tricks on using this M block. Okay, as you can see, this is the main screen of M block. Okay, what we can do? We can simply drag and drop the code that you want to use. Okay, they call it block. And you can right click on the block itself and you can duplicate it as many as you like. It's very convenient for you. Alright, and you can always drag it back in order to erase the blocks. And another thing is, I will show you after this. For example, we have these two different blocks. We have this set digital and wait for one second. We can also duplicate both of it. As long as both of the blocks are connected together. And we can also zoom in and zoom out to look nearer to our blocks and we can also scroll 
to the bottom to see what is at the bottom and we can press this equal sign in order to make it back to no normal size. Okay, let's start our real coding. Make sure it's Arduino and it's in upload mode and you have to press connect. Show all connectable devices and then it doesn't have to be CON5, it can be CON4 or 3 and press connect. Okay, it's connected. Make sure this thing is done first. Okay, next. Press event and drag when Arduino Uno starts up. Then press pin. Drag set digital pin. And you have to change the pin to number 2 because we have learned before number 1 and number 0 is not connected to any to any LED and then you have to drag in wait 1 second go into pin again drag set digital pin change the digital pin into 2 but this time change it to low to turn off the LED and then you have to drag in wait for one seconds again and then drag in set digital pin this time you have to change into digital pin 3 to turn on LED number 3 wait for one second again go into pin drag set digital pin change it into 3 and this time you have to set it to low to turn off LED 3 and then you go into control wait for one second again go into repeat and drag it there to repeat all of this event 10 times and then press file save to your computer give a name to your coding with your name in it and make your title as something that is meaningful for example I make this thing as and block LED one because it involves LED programming and then your file your project file have been saved and then it's time for us to upload to make uno press this upload button and then wait until the progress bar become 100% done the code has been uploaded okay let us have a better look on what we have done okay first when Arduino Uno starts up that means it instruct the, the code to run when the our maker Uno start up because Arduino Uno is compatible with maker Uno we can use this code also the next is we set digital pin down one output as high so that, that means we are going to turn on pin number one as high but this one doesn't happen because there is no led that is connected to pin one so we have to change that we have to set 
digital pin number 2 as high. Okay, pin number 2 as high. Now, it works. It stays there because we make the output as high. That means we are turning on the LDD number 2. Then we have to wait for a second. Two second. We can change the number to two second, one second. We can even change it into 2.5 second. Or if you want it to be faster than one second, we can reduce the waiting time into 0 0.5 second or even 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and all that to make the waiting much more shorter in duration. Okay, we set back to one second and then we set digital pin number two as low. You can see here we are turning off LED number two back again. And then we wait for another one second. We set digital pin 3 as high. That means we are turning on LED 3. Then we wait for another one second. After one second, we set digital pin output as low. That means we are turning off this LED 3 off again. Next, we have this repeat 10 times. That means this sequence will be repeated 10 times. Okay. And we can use this thing to set it up. You can change 10 to any other numbers that you wish. Okay. See what happened to the LED. Okay, student, I hope you understand what I've explained before. Be, be cool. If you didn't understand, you can always contact me or you can review our videos over and over again. It needs a lot of practice to do this thing, but I'm sure it is within your capacity. It's not that hard, actually. You have to make sure you adhere to the details that I have explained before. Okay? We'll meet you in our next lesson. Okay, so then the one that we have been waiting for is our assignment. What we have to do after we have understand what we have learned. The first one, we have to program the LED so that LED2 until LED6 will turn on and off each with half second, 0 0.5 second waiting time. Then reverse the sequence where LED6 until LED2 will turn on and off each with half second also. Repeat the whole thing twice. The second question is, program the LEDs so that LED2 until LED13 will turn on and each with half second waiting time. Then reverse the whole thing by turning it off from LED13 to LED2. Repeat this forever. That means this code never stop. The third one is do any sequence that you like. That means you can program the LED in any manners that you like and record a snapshot of your M block code. So I can evaluate what we have done. And you can send it over to asni at brainbunch.com for me to comment on your 
program. Until we see you again, have a nice day. Assalamualaikum.